I'm going to make a duplicate of this level so we can compare them and I'm gonna type main.gpu when you duplicate a level all light baked data is gone so when we open here we will see there is nothing right it tells you hey build the light for me and that's just do that so let's make sure it was set on preview and these light mass settings in the GPU baker are going to be ignored except for I think the sky bounces in fact let's check here it tells us so except for indirect light bounces this guy and let's reset everything to normal we have the same exact setup like before we have a directional light we have a skylight we have a fog we have light mass portals sphere reflection capture light mass importance volume in fact i have two so let's just delete one and we should be ready to build the light let's do it when you build the light you will notice next to swarm agent now we have the gpu light mass progress window this is how you know you have an nvidia card and it's working <laughs> sorry amd guys this is so much faster all right this took one minute and we have almost a much better result except for this super ugly ceiling that we can fix literally with two clicks so this is super nice i told you i want to show you multiple ways in lighting our um, interiors so now let's just have fun with this before we delete it because i'm going to read this setup so let's do something like this i like it let's give it the color more warmer color let's just have fun you know and let's build the light again let's see how this one will look i like the gpu baker so i'm going to show you more of what we can do now we're done let's see how much time it took so it took oh my god 80 seconds that's it 6 90 seconds i like what we got as you remember earlier i said we should not use this kind of curtains uh here because we need to increase the light the light map resolution of the mesh or the object since we can do this in just 90 seconds let's put this one to 1k in fact let's put this one to 1k and let's keep this wall at 64 and let me show you the difference real quick so let's build the light again you can see it changed color because we have to build the light it tells you hey boy girl there are two objects that you need to build please build and you're like let's do that all right took another 90 minutes and this is so much better so you can see the difference in the quality in the shadow this is definitely looks so much better it needs to be softer so let's see if we can achieve that with the directional light and let's increase the quality on this wall so you can see the shadow it's so bad here so let's make this one 512 so i want to try an option with the gpu baker i was not sure about in the light mass use area shadows for stationary light I don't know if this is supported or not so let's see but if we change this let's bring this back to normal what will happen here so i'm gonna build light again so this is interesting i like what we have for the sake of this tutorial let's just delete this curtain so being organized when you select a data smith actor when press ctrl shift d it will select all these guys for you click on delete tell it yes all and when we build the light again we won't have these ugly shadows i know now when we activate this guy we should have like softer and softer shadows this in fact can be seen here and here so now let's increase the resolution of these guys to something high like uh, 1024 or let's go crazy because i really want to see that soft shadow how does it look the same on the closet let's select the closet increase it to 512 i promise you <laughs> that we will move on after this so let's do that final time we're back when we increase the quality I want you to know I increased the quality on purpose of these guys because 
You see, we increased only three objects and the light bake took almost three times more, from 90 seconds to 260 seconds. So be careful when you increase the light map resolution of your scene. These are some of the bugs we can get rid of when we increase the quality to production. This is one way we can light our scene. So now let me delete everything. I'm going to delete the directional light, the skylight and the fog. And instead, I'm going to lights and add the sun and sky positioner. If you don't have this, it's in fact super similar to directional light and the skylight. And it also have atmosphere with it. But it comes with latitude and longitude. If you don't have the sun and the sky positioner, go to the settings to plugins. Click on built in and type sun and sky ca sun position calculator sorry click on enabled and then you need to restart the engine after you restart the engine if you go to lights you will have this additional item you can click and drag to your words the first thing we need to do when we click and import this is decreasing the intensity of the sun as i mentioned earlier the sun is using real world value and we don't want that. We want to use just like directional light when we click and drag the default directional light, it uses 10, so let's just use 10. Because 10 is what our post process volume is already adapted to. We could use 75k, but we need to change the exposure, and I'm just too lazy to do that. We need to do the same for our skylight. Click on the skylight. So when you click on the sun and the sky, you basically you are here. And if you want to change the details here, because this is context sensitive, you need to click on the on the inherited items, let's call them. So the skylight, it's set on movable, set it on stationary or static. And now this will change after we bake the light. So this, it, this is a movable light from, from outside. The atmosphere now it changed to static because we need to build the light the same for the directional light you see these four arrows we also need this on stationary or static because in architectural visualization we're baking our lights and the sky atmosphere is this guy and it will change based on what i like one of the reasons i like the sun and sky is because we can change the atmosphere it's slightly more realistic so let me show you what i mean I'm going to change the value north offset so we can have some sunlight going inside the apartment. Like this. And now I'm going to set the solar time from 1 pm to something like 8.5 in the morning. Let's try 9. And let's try to play with the north offset, yes. Now I'm gonna set it again to 8.5 and you can see it's like it's changing the color super early now at 7 it's so nice so let's go to something like 8 so this is a second way you can light your projects with it and this is more, more accurate in fact this is physically accurate uh, in the world you can go to google type berlin latitude and longitude for example or moscow or uh, istanbul hello to all istanbul people here <laughs> You can set a city, latitude, longitude, and a time zone, and you will have the beautiful sun of that city in your Unreal Engine project. So let's build the light and wait a little bit. Oh, before we build the light, because it took three minutes to build on these guys, and look how awesome is this. Let's just reduce the quality to something like 512 because 2K is crazy. Don't do 2K, guys, okay? I was just playing. I'm not kidding. Don't do 2K unless it's necessary and you know what you're doing. Now let's build the light. The X, this is we can ignore. It would change if we set this on stationary because we, it says you have many overlapping stationary lights for some reason so it must be a bug in this case but that's fine now we wait
After reducing from 2K to 512, it took from 260 seconds to 110. And this is definitely super interesting. I don't know why we don't have our sunlight. So, I think one of the main reasons we don't have it is I don't know. So, I will try and make again. Regarding these splotches, if we go to where we have our engine installed, go to engine, config, and open this pastelightmask.ini file in a text editor like the notepad and go all the way down. I'm gonna increase this to something like 64 and this is to 32. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna take picture of this by pressing F9. It will save a screenshot for you based on your screen size. So if you wanna take a bigger picture than this, go here and click on high resolution screenshot and set the multiplayer and it will be named high resolution screenshot you can see how much bigger it is let's click on build and wait all right we finished baking the light we have our sun which is great and these are way much less than before so let's take another screenshot and see if we can compare this is before Ooh, this is before so wait this is before, this is now. Wow. <laughs> so obviously, if we increase the settings a little bit more, we will have amazing lighting. These are objects that have emissive material on them and they do not affect the world because they are not set to affect the world. To do that, if you want emissive materials to affect your world and give it some light, go to use emissive for static lighting let's click it and let's click on build the light to see how this one will look i'm building the lights so many times just for you guys <laughs> subscribe if you're not subscribed already <laughs> we are back and as you can see when we enabled use emissive for static lighting it looks so nice we discussed that we can improve these splotches these artifacts by increasing the quality of the light now i was thinking of deleting these lights completely we don't have light anymore and using an hdri image to light our scene Hello beautiful people, it's your boy Yahya. Thank you if you made it this far. Supporting us in doing what we love and what we are passionate about is just incredible. And as we say in Arabic, Shukran Habibi. Before I go, one of my favorite artists, your boy, David Bailas. We were chatting on Instagram this morning. I was drinking my iced Americano. This guy is one of my favorite CG artists of all time. It always inspires me to see people like David posting in great quality and quantity so frequently. Links to your boy David are in the description. This was your boy Yahya. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like if you found this video useful. See you guys in part 3. Hey!